Aloha, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler, along with Dick Vitale, and welcome to the beautiful island of Maui for this first round game of the EA Sports Maui Invitational Tournament between the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors and the Chaminade Silver Swords. Number two is an unbelievable player who's been given the reins to take his team to victory. This kid is one of the best offensive threats in the country, baby. He fills it up from anywhere as well as the Rock. The Silver Swords will have a daunting task trying to contain him, Dick. The Silver Swords are facing a very formidable opponent, Dick. What are the keys to their success? Hey, tonight the keys to their success are these, Brad. First, play at your style. Don't get roped into doing things that you normally don't do. You must be in control. Second of all, take care of the rock. No turnovers, baby. Turnovers only lead to easy scores the other way. Lastly, get out of those shooters. Challenge every shot. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. Number 33, pump fakes. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Gave it up. Ten on the shot clock. There's the pick. There's the roll. Hey, look out the roll, baby. Oh, my. Two comes up with it. Number two with a huge jam. Thinks about the shot. Fakes a jumper. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Coach looks on. Focused. A lot of intensity. A lot of emotion. Ten seconds remaining on the shot clock. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Working around the arc. On the inside. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Look at this last play right here. <laughs> trying to feed the low block. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Boy, terrible execution on offense. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. He uses the shot fake for the bucket and off the mark. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Number two handles the feed. Way off target. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. There's the fake. Nice low post play. Good entry to the box. Pressure that basketball. Tries to get the D to bite. And he'll kick it back outside. They work it around the perimeter. Now trying to feed the low block. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork to fit. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. And the ball goes out of bounds. One on the shot clock. Can't get the shot to go. The center receives the pass. Pump fakes. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Down inside. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. 
Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Leans in. Hawaii is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on Ian Chile because he's beating him to the spot. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. They go into the low block. On the dribble, gives it up. There's a double team waiting there. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA. Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. Down he goes and no foul call either way. Wow, no call. I can't believe that one. Looking to move it around the perimeter on the outside. Got a oh, nice screen. He blocks the shot. The point guard handles the pass. Step out on that screener. From left of the circle. The replay will give us a better look. Both teams looking to get things going here. Stolen away. Fast break opportunity here. Great elevator man, man. That's the elevator guy. What a high riser. Takes the pass in the paint. Double team now, bad angle. Looking for contact. And he scores despite the hack. Gave it up. Looks at the three. Off the rim and no good. Working it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. They move it into the front court and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. Well, this is a one-man show, Brad. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. He shoots from the top of the circle. He nails it from downtown. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. They're working around the perimeter. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Tries for two. What an ugly display of team defense, Brad. Boy, I'll say, they look exhausted, if you ask me, Dick. The power forward receives the ball. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. <laughs> the 
There's the pick. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. For the bucket, doesn't go. On the dribble, gives it up. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Gave it up. He shoots from outside. Nice shot. Let's it fly. Gets it to fall. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Now the high screen. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. Momentary look from three-point land. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Both teams are looking to get something going here. That's a great defensive effort being all over the ball. They get the five-second call. So they'll inbound on the near sideline. He'll kick it back outside. Stop and pop. He shows the sweet touch. Number 40 is trying to get the crowd fired up. Brad, he wants some fan support for this offensive possession. Say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. On the dribble, gives it up. They go inside, and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. That's an ill-advised shot. I don't think that's the guy you want shooting from the three-point line. Hey, a few more of those, he may wind up on a bench. Look at that spacing. He attempts the three. Poor decision there to shoot that three. Hey, Brad, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside shooters. They've got to attack inside and then out. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Guys, he seems very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back to you. All right, thanks, Aaron. Now they work it around the perimeter. Blocks it. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I tell you, tried to make the spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. For two, perfectly executed. He shoots from the top of the circle, way off target. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. And he'll kick it back outside. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. 
I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Now working around the arc. Entry pass in the paint. Puts it up, looking for contact. Side. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. He's just not seeing the floor, Dick. He doesn't want to, Brad. He wants to score, and I'll tell you, that ain't good for team morale, baby. He takes the three off the rim and no good. He wants the three. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. Gave it up. Up fake. Executes the baby hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper, and a chance for a three-point play. The old-fashioned way, as we say. If his actions weren't deflating enough, how about this? He's definitely provoking this crowd. Brad, the players are feeling it, and they want everyone to know that they're feeling it. He is going to the line. Free throw is good. On the dribble, gives it up. There's a bad pass right to the defender. That's basic. Jumps into the defender. Number two makes the finger roll. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Fires away, you betcha. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Working it around the perimeter. Fakes the shot. Number one, picks up the foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. For the bucket, perfectly executed. This is worth the second look. to draw the charge and even he has to smile about this one. I tell you kidding me that's one of the great acting jobs of all time. Get him an Oscar. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well the key is to beat him to the spot and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Skip pass is picked off. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He bombs from outside. Way off target. Oh. 
work it inside, and he tries a drop step defensively. Nice job. A uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? And a momentary look from three-point land. Trying to draw the foul. Number 31 is down emotionally right now, Dick. Emotionally, he needs some inspiration. Tightly guarded on the outside. For two, in and out. Something inside. He takes the shot off the baseline, off the rim, and no good. Dick are doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. Gets the rejection. Run him right into the screen again. What did I say? He puts up the tray. Way off target. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Looking for the foul. There was no doubt about that one. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Can't put it down. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. You can't go those kind of stretches against a team of this quality and expect to win. At the end of the first half, the Silver Swords are down by 16. Number one has really had a pretty good night, I'd say. I tell you, his performance so far is nowhere close to what he's capable of, Brad. But the opposing team came in with a plan to contain him, and they've been doing just that. It'll be interesting to see how he'll respond in the second half. Start of the second half, Dick, our focused player update. What's he got to get done in the second half for them to win? I would run him off screens on the right and left. I would set up screens and have him pop out to shoot that trifecta. It's no good. Here's the offensive drop step in the low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Gave it up. He attempts the trifecta. He gets it to go. Looking for a good shot. For two, and off the mark. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. A uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. The point guard with the ball. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. The ball goes out of bounds. Up and inside. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. The point guard gets the ball. The high screen tickles the twine. The small forward takes the pass. He couldn't get it to fall. The center takes the feed. He was unlucky on an inside shot off the screen.
ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball or let him try to beat us. They work it around the arc. Dumps it in for the deuce. They still don't score. Here he is defensively, and this is going to be an Academy Award, Dick. Absolutely, Academy Award at its best. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. Nothing going to come easy tonight, baby. They are really playing for keeps. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Can't get the shot to go. Diggy's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Looking for a good shot. Ah, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a duck. Where's he going? The Rainbow Warriors lead by 20. He may be in trouble here. Number 41. It's good. He drew the foul off a hard take to the hoop. Nice job, young man. If you want to know how aggressive a team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. On the outside, the small forward gets the pass. And they come with a double team to stop it. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. There's a high screen. He was looking for the call, and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul, no doubt about it. He beats him to the spot. That ball movement, get that good spacing. Goes up for two. Finger roll. And he'll kick it back outside. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Tries for two. And he missed. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Up and inside. They work the perimeter. Nicky's working on that low block and that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. He intercepts it. From left of the circle. Nice job of dribbling off the screen, but the shot just didn't fall. Working it around the perimeter on the dribble, gives it up. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. Rims out. Jumped in front to take it away. Looking for a good shot. Jumps in. And he scores it off the glass.
The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. I think, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Two. They still don't score. Hawaii have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. On the inside. Goes up for two. And off the mark. Inside. In the paint. Here's a double team. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see more man. That's essential when you play out there and you're fronting. in the paint. Dick, not a bad drop step, but and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Gave it up. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. He can't get the bucket to fall. Get that ball movement, get that good spacing. On the dribble, gives it up. And the ball goes out of play. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad and Dick, the coaching staff told me before the game, this is the one guy they need to get going quickly and early. They said when he gets hot, his entire team will follow suit, and they'll feel good about having the game in hand. All right, thanks, Aaron. He launches the bomb. Off the rim and no good. Looking for a good shot. On the inside. For the bucket. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Intercepted. Gave it up. the outside. He pump fakes. That was a high post screen. Goes to the lane. With a thundering swat. The ball goes out of play. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. High post flashes for the opportunity. Number zero is whistled for the foul. Second team foul. And a momentary look from three-point land. On the outside. Now the kick out. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. 
Runs in first, Dick, and works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind me because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He hits it. Takes away the pass. From the top of the key. Rims out. And he'll kick it back outside. Set that screen away. From a different area, Cole. Drains it. Shoots it. Got it. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Picks off the lazy pass. Picks off the pass. Went away from the post and goes the other way. This defense simply swarms the ball and they cause a five second violation. Ball coming in from the sideline. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He grabs the rebound. For two, Shamanon have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. it up cross court for two great play to take that to the basket the rainbow warriors are ahead by 25 number zero steals the ball a light steal attempt by the defense you got to be careful when you go for an aggressive steal like that Brad if you miss, you could be in trouble. Now they work it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Gave it up. Got to take some pride on a defensive end. On the dribble, gives it up. There's a double team waiting there. He shoots from the top of the circle. Too strong. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Gave it up. He throws it up from downtown. Poor decision. He has no business taking that shot. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. Defense giving some room. For the deuce. And he missed.
Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. He puts it in with contact and all. On the dribble, gives it up. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Tries for two. In and out. Ball's kicked out. He rejects it. He'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. They're working around the arc. Working it around the perimeter. Steals the pass. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. Barring some sort of miracle, I think this one could be over, Dick. Yeah, I think this is over. It's time to get the guys in who don't play that much. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Gave it up. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Looking for a good shot. For three. I wish somebody would knock down a jumper. Hey, that guy had 1,400 on his board. And look at him running out there like a wacko. Oh, man. Look at that wacko. <laughs> Jumped in front to take it away. High post player flashing. Double team now, bad angle. With a deep shot from outside. That's definitely not the shot they were looking for. Dick. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. And a momentary look from three-point land. On the dribble, gives it up. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. And the ball goes out of bounds. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnovers. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit side. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the crowd really admires this young man. The people here really appreciate what he brings to the table. Way off target. Nearly every single shot has been a challenge so far, Dick. Hey, the defense is really ready for action, baby. It's good. On the outside. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Number 22 takes it away. Up and inside. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Looking for a good shot. Has a nice look at the basket from way outside. No good. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. High post screen, gonna use it. For the bucket, rims out. They work the perimeter. Gave it up. 
Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Looking for a screen on top and got it. Shot's there if he wants it. They'll work it around the arc. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. The Warriors have a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Our focus player update our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. I'll tell you one thing, he really responded to the challenge, and that led them to the winner's circle. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. Chaminade gets blown out.